Well, salam alaikum, Aries. Peace, peace on you, Aries. <laughs> this is uh, Dawn Priolat, and this is your monthly love tarot consultation. So this is going to be for the time period of November 18th through December 18th. So this will take you pretty close up to Christmas time. And I want to remind you, um, first of all, this is a general reading. And if you do have some really pressing questions about your relationship, please go down into the description box. Um, and there is a link to a page on my website where you can purchase a personal reading with me. And I'm running a special. I have a two-question reading. Uh, for just $22, you can actually have a reading um, with two of your most pressing questions, and I will give you detailed answers. Um, and I will actually make you a video and send it right to your email. Okay? So please don't hesitate. Um, you know, it can really give you some peace of mind. So. Without further ado, I'm going to begin your reading. The overall advice, the um, spiritual advice for the month for you um, is coming from the uh, Viking card deck. And so I'm going to give you that one first. And for this month, it is, let's see, what number is this? Card 11, the totem poles, which is spiritual guidance. 11 is a very spiritual number. So I'm going to go ahead and read what the book has to say about this. For number 11, Spiritual Guidance. So, and it's the totem poles. So, the totem poles represent spiritual guidance in your life. They are telling you to rely on guidance and support from your highest power in life. Fearlessly cast your totem poles overboard and trust that they will drift ashore at the right in at the right location. Show courage and patience and trust that the spiritual guidance and support you receive will lead you to where your life's work will be of the greatest service, both to you and to others around you. The Vikings sometimes had to search through more than one summer for their totem poles, but never lost faith, faith in spiritual guidance. Sometimes you need to stay in the same place for a while and rest before you continue your search. Resting can apply to you now, but before too long you will find your own totem poles which will lead you to new opportunities in life. Wow. So it's funny because, you know, as I w was just telling you about getting your own personal reading, um, you know, this is basic, this card is basically advising you to take spiritual guidance, to get spiritual guidance, to be open to that. So I hope you will heed that advice for this month, um, Aries. So let's get on with the rest of the reading. I have chosen uh, some cards from the Rider Weight deck, and this is for a relationship reading. So the first card up, actually two cards kind of fell out of the deck, and these are what they were. So Wheel of Fortune, normally in its upright position, this is the forward movement of life, the forward, forward movement to your destiny, to your purpose. But it came up in the reverse. And the card that came with this was, um, this is, you know, I sometimes refer to this as the lying cheating card. Or, you know, maybe some, and also, look, he's kind of sneaking away. So like somebody's sneaking around behind your back and and it also came up in the reverse. 
So what I, what I was getting intuitively from this combination of cards is that there, for you, Aries, there may have been a situation in your past where someone lied to you, cheated on you, really, really betrayed you deeply. And it is really holding you up. And they're saying not just in your romantic life, but also in life in general, in your career path. Uh, this is really, really getting in your way. It's blocking you from experiencing abundance in all areas of your life because you don't trust anymore. And, and bottom line is you don't trust yourself to make the right uh, decisions and so this is uh, this is your work, Aries, uh, for for this time period. Really, is working on this past betrayal, this past lying, cheating, whatever it was, because it's affecting your life now. And in this position, this is what you're bringing into the relationship, whatever relationship you're in right now. Um, the next card up is. Temperance, this is what your partner is bringing to the relationship. And this is a person who appears to be much more balanced. Um, their feet are, you know, if you look in the picture, the feet are right by the water. Water is emotions. So this is a person who appears to be very balanced. And this is the lesson for you, too. Um, sometimes this, this card refers to the lesson that you need to learn in this relationship. It's about emotional balance. Okay, and the next two cards, um, this one, Three of Pentacles upside down, in reverse. Now, this card is in the position of your emotional future with this particular person. But now, normally when it's upright, this is working in cooperation, working as part of a team, teamwork. But it came in the reverse. And because of the mistrust that you have, because of your past, because of all the betrayals you've been through, you're, you know, this is telling me that you're not able to work in cooperation. You don't have the trust. You're always looking for you know, the fly in the ointment kind of thing. You're always looking for something negative to happen. You're always looking for, you know, when's he going to cheat on me again? When's he, when's he going to lie to me again? And it's really tearing your relationships apart. And obviously this isn't for everyone, Aries. I mean, this is, this is for some people. But, you know, even if you think this doesn't apply to you, just look at, you know, just have an open mind and just realize that, you know, this may apply to you in a way that you may not even be seeing, okay? You may think you, you've gotten over your past relationships, but you haven't, okay? Oftentimes, subconsciously, we're still holding on. Uh, interesting. Okay, so for your partner's emotional future in the relationship, Wow, Queen of Swords in reverse. Now, normally the Queen of Swords is someone who, uh, as far as communication is concerned, very straightforward, um, honest, um, very honest and forthcoming with, with giving information, with uh, communication. But because it came up in the reverse, and what I'm feeling is, is that this person may have started out very emotionally balanced and very um, forthcoming uh, with communication and telling you things. But now it's showing that this person, because it's in the reverse, perhaps is not willing to say certain things to you, to be completely honest and open, because they don't want to upset you. They don't want to cut you with their words. And because of this past hurt that you've been through, it's like you're walking around like an open wound. And so, you know, I always say to people, if, you know, you say that you want people to be honest and you hate liars, but yet are, you know, here's what you need to ask yourself, Aries. 
Am I a person who can handle the truth? Or do I, you know, if, if he tells me that, you know, oh, I'm going out to a club with my friends, you know, are you going to go ballistic because now you're going into worry that you're going to get cheated on again and you're pretty sure he's going to be flirting with other women, getting phone numbers and whatever. So that there's where you need to have some honesty with yourself, Aries. Because this stuff is coming from your past and it is affecting your relationship. Also, they're saying it's affecting you in your work as well, in your job. So now, if you have a question about the final outcome of this relationship, now is the time to bring this to mind. Because here's the final outcome. Or the potential for this relationship. So what we have is the Empress in reverse, the Emperor upright, and the Hierophant upright. So the Empress in reverse. Now this is telling me that this is, you know, this is not going to be a very nurturing, loving, sensual kind of relationship. It has the potential to be. And it may have started out that way, but it, it, it is not going to be because of the mistrust. Also, um, with the emperor, the emperor is somebody uh, who could, you know, have a tendency to be very, very controlling. And when you've been hurt, uh, that's what you tend to do. You tend to try to want to control everything within the relationship because you're trying so hard to avoid being hurt again. So you want to control your partner's every move. You know, you want to know everything your partner's doing. You want to know, you know, according to you, the truth about everything, and yet you can't really handle the truth. Or if you knew the truth, then you would want, you would want to start an argument about it. You know, for example, tell him, no, you can't go out with your friends. You know, in other words, you want to make him a prisoner because you've been hurt in the past, you've been cheated on before, and you're so terrified that this is going to happen again, and now you want to control every aspect of his life. That's the emperor, okay? So this is one scenario that this could be. Now, um, you know, I encourage you to, um, you know, write in the comments what these cards are representing to you, what's going on in your life that this might represent. Because the Hierophant also um, represents uh, institutions, it represents uh, rules, it represents um, convention, conventionality. And sometimes when people are afraid of things, they tend to want to like do everything by the book, by Hoyle. Um, they want everything to kind of be, you know, uh, this could refer to the rules of the church. And a lot of people feel that, you know, oh, well, if we live by the, the, the rules of the church, then we'll be safe. Then we'll be safe from harm. And uh, that <laughs> may or may not be true. Uh, but there's this, there seems to be this need with the emperor and the hierophant to control things, to have things be very, uh, very much controlled by convention. Um, but yet, I don't.